All right, fam, what's up? Good to see you back here again. It's good to have an extra day off this weekend. It's not a day off, it's an extra day to do my other job, but hey. So that said, um, there's a remix. I've been told by numerous subscribers of this channel that I need to take a look at the Dax remix, the mega remix to be a man. So um, let's just dive into that right now. For those of you who came across this video and didn't see my original reaction, it blew up. It kind of blew up. And then my wife had reacted to my reaction because I told her to without seeing them. I'm like, go watch this and do it as a reaction video because I want to see your reaction to seeing me kind of like, I kind of lost it, right? So, um, but it's because I spend so many hours, you know, at the workbench or out in the field or whatever, you know, moving concrete blocks. But um, go check that out if you haven't seen it. I will link it down below. I think it's probably from the comments. A lot of people have said it was one of the most genuine, heaviest reactions they saw to the video. So if you like those kind of reactions and you never saw it, go take a look. But yeah, let's listen to this guy right now. I'm um, not really sure what this means, but I saw some other faces, so I'm kind of excited to think about, let's make sure my mic's on. So I'm kind of excited to hear some new verse versions, if that's the way they're doing this remix. So yeah, let's get into this right now. I can't hide myself. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain. What it's like to be a man mm. It's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's ah. not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home Too much pressure on my shoulders It gets tough to be The person bringing in the bread And be the lover that you need for self-care Yeah, I had to let go I'd be lying if I told you that it never takes a toll on my mind. I need someone to save me, but I have to be the one who's saving you. When you're exhausted, I'm the shoulder where you meant. Gotta stay strong. What can I do when I can't, I can't hide my. Wow. <laughs> Damn. That was good. <laughs> It's nice having the change up, you know, to hear another voice, to see another face and hear another verse. It's like when you really like a song like that, to hear somebody else's verse version or whatever, remix, whatever you call it. I don't know. I'm new to, I'm new to music. Um, I really like that. And I would like to go back and read their lyrics. I don't know who this artist is. Um, he's a pretty good singer, so I'm sure he's doing something with music on YouTube. Um, but yeah, let's get back into this. Myself. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road. And they don't care about what you know. It's not about how you feel. Bravo, dude. That was... <clears throat> Music kicks ass, doesn't it? Really, really does, man. What it's like to be a man It's a lonely road And they don't care about what you know It's not about how you feel But what you provide inside that home The sense all in my head Everything I feel, I keep in, cause it's different for men. We 
talk about our feelings We're called oversensitive We're asked to strike a balance It doesn't exist So we battle everything Up in our minds We grow cold, dark and numb As we slowly die You ever wonder why It's mostly men who commit suicide We figure why now we're already dead I can't hide myself I don't expect you to understand I just hope I can explain. <laughs> you like it yet? Up in the corner? <laughs> it's kind of like, prepare yourself. <laughs> prepare yourself, guys. It's going to get hard for you here. Uh, this is already good. So far, These all three of these artists are just kicking ass with these lyrics and their voice and everything. Top notch. Top notch. So... Yeah, let's just go. Let's just go. I saw a woman. I think there's going to be a woman. That would be kind of cool to see a woman uh, verse in here. What it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road. And they don't care about what you know. It's not about how you feel, but what you provide inside. say to that uh that obviously gets a guy because you know me being uh a, a, a father of three young kids at 53 and stay at home wife mom taking care of the kids every day um it's it's hard to make it on a single income these days with the cost of everything rising the way it is and and some, I, I know when my wife reacted to my first reaction to Dax's original To Be A Man video, um, she kind of got beat up in the comments. And I, I think I've, you know, three months, four months after that song first came out, uh, I think I got about 85,000 views, which for, you know, my channel being at 4,000 subscribers when I did that video... Um, is a lot. It's it's the biggest, uh, the most viewed video I have on my channel. My wife got like a hundred and eighty thousand views reacting to me, and it's like I listened to everything she said, and and you know like she didn't deserve some of the comments she got. And I understand that everybody's viewing things from their own perspective, and there's some guys you know that they have a different filter in life. My wife didn't deserve those comments because my wife stays home with the kids she's not trying to run around to girls night out she's not an online shopper she's not she's not spending all our money you know she's not coming home from the mall with bags she's always home she waits for me to get home she waits for me with dinner hot to get home my wife is the ideal Why for me? Exactly what I needed. Um, so I understand, uh, d depending on the way you were raised, depending on, you know, the experiences you've had in your life, everybody's going to have a slightly different take to it. But um, I appreciate and, and was affected by her lyrics because of what her lyrics were saying. You know, she can she can tell you've been hammered and you're just hanging on and I mean, it's that it's that kind of recognition for the stuff that the hardworking men out there do, you know. And I, and I've watched, I don't know, several things this weekend. I think 
I've been watching some guy on YouTube that's been going to Appalachia. I'm sure these videos are going viral because they've got like multiple millions of views. And they're interviewing people out there and they're saying, hey, man, the kids are all on drugs. You know, that no, it's hard to find anybody in the younger generations to even do a job anymore because they're getting money handed through, you know, government programs or whatever. And, you know, either that or just being lazy and being on drugs, being raised on, you know, uh, Fortnite or cell phones and all of this stuff. And uh, it's it's a. Uh, it's a shame how much things have changed, and I, we can never go back, you know? I mean, can we? Can we really? I, maybe, maybe we can, you know? I'm starting to see on some, I think when I used to use social media, which I really don't use Instagram anymore, but um, starting to see some posts where some women are letting their hair be gray, <laughs> like natural, and I'm seeing more, uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Conservative, like, type dresses like you know like uh what can i say like uh house uh, little little house on the prairie kind of dresses like i mean really nice they look really nice you know and maybe that's a sign of that the times are possibly changing and people are realizing like man we let this shit go too far so i don't know but uh, let's hear this brother right here. It's, it's going to be pretty good. I can just tell by looking at him. I don't know who any of these artists are, like I said again. Right here, Portland. Let's let's take it back a step, too. To provide inside that home. I know we all got decisions to make. But it seems that my decisions cause the vision. I hate this pride. I break inside, but I cannot cry. Because all I want to do is provide. I was made for this, I'm a father of seven My oldest wow. is 20, my youngest 11 And they all gotta eat So I bury my feelings and stay on my feet Like they told me Gotta be grown, they told me You're on your own, they told me But we're not alone, they show me I can't hide myself I don't expect you to understand I just hope I can explain What it's like to be a man a lonely road and they don't care about what you know it's not about how you feel but what you provide inside that home yeah patiently waited for god to show me signs i need i'm not the man for the job all the things i can be put all my feelings aside i think that i'll be better off when i'm not alive I threw the pressure for years and I try to hide it Almost put pressure and pulled it but I decided To give it all that I can But this what it's like to be a man I can't hide myself I don't expect you to understand Ah, uh, really really good So like I mentioned before I've seen Fix that's right if it's not i apologize uh what else could it be <laughs> like the dude that was right before him i love how he put the fact that he has seven kids and the oldest is 11 that made me feel like that's all true about him and you know with seven kids boy you know the, the more you have and, and children people want to think that children it's just it's debt right like you worry about your kids, and for those people that have young children right now with the state that the world is in, it's fearful because you wonder, you know, if that good book is true, this could be really sketchy, you know? Um, and it can, so seek Jesus. Um, or whoever you call God, just dive into it, you know, and, and, and get right. Um, children are wealth, you know, in the end. He has seven children, seven children that will grow up when he's old and be there for him. So, you know, think about that, moms and dads. Think about the time you invest with your kids. Think about how much you're there. I'm always there with my kids, and I know in return they're always going to be there with me. That's what they know, you know. But think about that. If you're not spending the time with your children, then you can't expect doing to others right doing to others as you'd have them doing to you um he has seven kids seven kids to help 
fall back on when he needs a ride when he's elderly or when he needs somebody to come wipe his mouth or wipe his ass for that matter, right? When I was in the hospital, Mrs. Realistic had to wipe my ass. No kidding, because I didn't want the nurse to do it, right? Like I came to for a second. <laughs> I was in La La Land having some terrible dreams or having some terrible uh, narratives going on in my head. And, you know, um, waking up in the middle of the night, took a shit all over myself. I'm in the middle of this hospital room and, and the floor's wet. Why is the floor wet? Did I pee on the floor? I don't know what I did because I was on fentanyl on all kinds of stuff. I was ripping tubes out of myself the whole time. And here I am in the middle of the hospital floor trying to look for a towel <laughs> to clean up my mess while I'm slipping and sliding, folks. I mean, I'm doing, I'm doing the chocolate starfish on the floor, you know, and having my wife show up and take care of me. This is why, ladies, don't be single forever because you, you, you want somebody in your life for those later chapters. It's all good when you're in your 20s, but think about life down the road, you know, when you have somebody there to share, you know, the, the grandkids' birth and the family and just be there, man. That, that's the thing that matters. So I don't mean to get so into it, but dang, it just brings up so much. Um, I was thinking about fix. I don't know what jobs some of these people have done, you know? Like the fellow that went before him, he probably has done some hard working jobs because he's older. But with some younger people, some youth, I, I don't really know. Did, you know, fix looks like, you know, he could have been a roughneck out in Texas somewhere, like doing super dangerous job. And, uh, I mean, Talk about some hard work. There's a whole bunch of jobs like that. But anyway, let's get back into this video. I just hope I can't explain. Although now his hair is looking perm, so maybe he wasn't a roughneck. But <clears throat> leave it out. Edit that part out. What it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road. And they don't care about what you know. It's not about how you feel, but what you provide inside that home. As a man, if you show your emotions, they take it for weakness, ain't nothing new. Teaching my son to be mentally stronger, prepare for the battle, he ain't even two. Being a father is lit, but I gotta admit that sometimes I don't know what to do. Provide and protect was the name of the game I was playing for you, and you know that it's true. Unconditional love and reality, but you can't take a look from my view. A lot of my days were blue, but that dog in me, so I fought and you didn't have a clue. When I had it, we had it together, but now we divided, your colors are true. I still have to ask for no help if you knew I was struggling, I would have did it for you. I can't hide myself. I don't expect you to understand. I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man. It's a lonely road. And they don't care about what you know. It's not about how you feel, but what you provide inside that home. I'm sorry, I never knew all the things that you go through. I never meant to put your pain aside. Didn't mean to make you need to hide. Is 
yourself inside a hole you can get out if you thought you wanna shout the pain is just unbearable oh no i just wanna cry be given up and be told everything will be okay but i'm not in the deep expect you to understand I just hope I can explain what it's like to be a man it's a lonely road I gotta pause because I gotta say something about this video quality like this is so well done and they don't care about what you know it's not about how you Someone to lean on, no matter what you're dealing with. I just lost a couple friends to drugs. When I woke up in the morning, man, I really wasn't feeling it. But I gotta try to bottle the pain. But when they took my son away, I had to try to find a will to live. Put him five whole years at the job, then I got laid off. And the news had me feeling sick. I've been drowning in the deep end. Anybody wanna give me a reason? I don't even try to bother with a social life. Cause I would rather be alone on the weekends, chilling with my demons. And I try to suppress the depression and need a robust cause I'm really about to lose it all. Just remember that I try to be a man when you lose me, y'all, and I'm gone. I can't hide myself. That was great. I don't expect you to understand I just hope I can explain What it's like to be a man It's a lonely road And they don't care about Let's stop it right there. Maybe we'll use this as a thumbnail. So anyway, I really like the idea of this video. I like that Dax went ahead and opened it up because they're going to do it anyway, right? Um, but I like the way he did this, you know, and was able to make another killer video with other people's lyrical version. So, all right, fam, there it is. Um, right here, the original video. Uh, I'm going to leave a link down below of my first reaction. I may even leave a link to my wife's reaction to me. If you love this song like the rest of us do and you want to check out the two best reactions on YouTube, they're down below. My my reaction and my wife's reaction, I, th I think we've gotten so many comments of people being like, this is the most genuine one on YouTube. So anyway, not to, to it's like the only thing I've ever done right. But if you want to take a look at it, it's down there. All right, man. Everybody take care. Peace. Love you.